Welcome to another tutorial series about Lumen and Nanite. In two short, concise videos I explain everything you need to know about the two new features and how to migrate an existing project to Unreal Engine 5 or how to set up an existing UE5 project correctly to use Lumen and Nanite. Part 1 is specifically about Lumen. In the second video you will learn everything about Nanite. Have fun watching! Lumen is UE5's new real-time lighting calculation feature that also provides lighting through emissive materials, real-time skylight shadows, fantastic reflection capture and much more. If you start a new project directly in Unreal Engine 5, Lumen should already be set correctly, but I recommend to check the settings anyways. So if you migrate your project from Unreal Engine 4 to 5, you have to set the Lumen settings in the project settings correctly to use the feature properly. To do this, click on Edit at the top and then on Project Settings. A new window with the project settings comes up and in the search bar search for Dynamic global illumination method. Then set the setting to use Lumen. The editor should ask you if you want to set the other settings automatically. Click on OK for all the pop-up messages. However, you should be on the safe side and check the following additional project settings as well. First one is the reflection method. So go to the search bar and type in reflection method. Make sure that it is set to Lumen as well. Then also search for Generate Mesh Distance Fields and set the checkbox if it hasn't been done already. Now restart the editor in the last step and everything should now be set up correctly for your project to use Lumen. Once the editor has restarted, we need to set up our scene with the basic lighting setup. In case you already have an existing level, you can also adjust it in the following way. We need three actors as a starting point in our scene. So click on the plus icon in the top bar. And then under visual effects, select the sky atmosphere. In the outliner, I will move the sky atmosphere to a specific folder to get a better overview of all our actors. I named it Lumen Actors. Then also add the directional light via the plus button again. Just click on it, go to lights, select the directional light and also move it in the folder we created. Now we need another actor, so click on the plus again, go back to lights and select the skylight. In the outliner, put it also in our folder, do a right click, move to and select the folder. Let's have a look, here it is. With the skylight selected, go to the details panel and set it to movable. Do the same for the directional light, select it, go down to the details panel, set it to movable. Then we need to set a setting for our skylight, so select it in the outliner. Go to the details panel and scroll all the way down to the atmosphere and cloud section. And there search the checkbox for cloud ambient occlusion and check it. Last step is to select the directional light and also scroll down here to the atmosphere and cloud area in the details panel. Make sure that the atmosphere sunlight is checked. Also check cast shadows on clouds in case you use volumetric clouds. Also enable cast shadows on atmosphere and cast cloud shadows as well. And that's it, now you have everything in your scene set correctly to use Lumen. You can play around a bit with the settings in the details panel for the actors we've added to match the lighting to your scene. You can also rotate the directional light in real time by using the rotation tool of the editor. Or by hitting Ctrl and L on your keyboard to set the lighting direction by moving the mouse. And one last thing to make sure that everything is set up fine. Check the Lumen scene via the view mode here. And under Lumen, select the Lumen scene. If this scene looks similar to your standard scene, all is good. If not, you need to change some mesh settings that are covered in the next video of this tutorial series regarding Nanite. A quick tip at the end of this video. 
Besides the skylight and other light components, Lumen is heavily affected by your material, in detail the albedo and the roughness textures, and also by the exposure. And what Lumen is also capable of is to light up the scene with emissive materials. Just make sure that the emissive mesh is a bit bigger and the material is not that bright, otherwise you can get strange looking results in your scene. This brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to check out the next one regarding Nanite. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video guys, bye bye.